Hey guys, so back at my doctor's office. It is right over there. <laughs> and um, I just got done with it actually. I got here and I was out of time. I didn't have time to like record anything. So I'm just gonna record something right now. Um, my doctor's appointment was super fast. I think it was like 10 minutes. I mean, super fast. I didn't even really need this appointment because I'm just so normal and so average but whatever. So I went in and they changed it. They're, they used to be checking temperatures as soon as you walked in the building and they aren't doing that anymore. Um, you still have to wear a mask, of course, uh, when you go inside, but they just checked my temperature when I checked in at my doctor's office instead of at the front door. And my temperature was like 96.3 or something. I was blowing cold air on myself, so, and they did the forehead, so that's probably why it was like lower. But that was good, and then I did a urine sample, and then they took my weight, which I'm doing fine. Um, I think I've gained like 22, 23 pounds so far, so um, that's doing really good. And then they took my blood pressure, which I was just a little nervous on, just because this was about the time where I was having high blood pressures when I was pregnant with Grayson, just because I was so nervous. So I'm consciously like making sure that I am like staying calm and breathing deep and not getting myself worked up. And I, my blood pressure was great. It was even lower than last time. It was like 118 over something. So it was super low, it was great. I felt really good about that. And then my doctor came in, measured my belly, I'm measuring right on track. And heartbeat was 152, I believe. So great heartbeat. And she was like, you're just basically normal. Like everything's going good. Everything is how it should be, very good. So nothing to report nothing to worry about that was like the fastest appointment ever um, after this my next appointment I made two weeks from today they'll be doing the group B swab which is not fun I'll have to get undressed for that and they're also going to check and make sure that baby is head down which I'm pretty sure he is I feel like my belly lowered like it's a lot lower instead of where it used to be and she agrees just looking at my belly and she thinks he dropped too but we will double check for sure next appointment so after this it gets a little bit exciting today was a pretty boring appointment but I thought I would still catch you guys up about it um, my sister is watching Grayson for me so I'm gonna head back and join them we're just gonna hang out and um, we're still getting the house ready for showing Anthony's been painting unfortunately I cannot help him with that because I am pregnant but I've been cleaning so we've been busy and um, time is just flying by. I am 34 weeks tomorrow, so it's very exciting. But yeah, I just wanted to keep give you guys an update and I'll see you guys later. Bye. So I'm back from my doctor's appointment and Grayson and I are drawing. He loves to have me draw things. And my sister taught me this really cool way of drawing a dog. And so I thought I would show you all as well. So check this out. It goes like this. Once there was a man with no hands. That one day, a bunch of bees came by and stung him and he died. So they buried him in a tomb. The gates of heaven were wide open and God gave him a halo and two angels wings. And then he decided to come back as doggy. a doggy. That is what my sister showed me today. She came and babysat Gray while I was at my doctor's appointment. And I thought that was actually a really cool way to draw a dog. My dogs stink. And so that's a pretty easy way to remember it. So if you ever want to draw a dog, there you go. I just showed that to you. What do you think, Gray? Mm -hmm. We are still potty training. Um, he, This is three weeks now of potty training. He still pees on the floor and I still rush him to the toilet and he'll pee in the toilet. So still have not gone to that point of him saying I have to pee and making it to the potty. But we're working on it. But um, yeah, I had a good time hanging out with my sister. Um, she had to head back. 
back to her husband and dog and cat, but it was nice hanging out with her. Usually on the summers, Allison and I hang out all the time and we have like so many things that we do. Um, but this summer was totally different. Coronavirus makes it hard to go anywhere. We were planning her wedding and so that was busy. And now she's looking for a house and we're getting ready to sell our house. So this whole summer has just been so crazy that we unfortunately haven't been able to hang out that much. So it was nice seeing her today. But I'm just gonna go and draw more dogs. As you can see, Grayson really likes me drawing dogs. And so I'm just gonna keep going. So Grayson just recently got this truck book and he is obsessed with it. It's one where it opens the flaps and every page is a different truck. Here are a pickaxe, hammer, and shovel. And he loves it. His favorite page is the mailman. There's a mailman truck and he is obsessed with the mailman as you all know. Delivery truck. Wow. Where's the mail truck? Show mama the mail truck. Yeah, here's Bob the driver. He's helping a family move to a new house. Where's the mail truck? Where is it? That's delivery truck. The end. But yes, he loves this book. My mom got it for him. She also got him that ABC book over there. And it has flaps as well. Where's your ABC book? Go get your ABC book. And he loves that one as well. He loves the ABCs. Yeah, there it is. There's the ABC book. Grayson is getting so smart. He can um, read certain books all by himself. Like he has them memorized. Not that he can read words. He just memorizes the books because we read them so often. And he's just now starting to get into the stage where he'll actually read books on his own and it won't make me read them to him. So it's been really nice to just sit and watch him read. <laughs> he's like, why are you recording me? He is so darn cute, you guys. Yeah. 